One of the areas of functionality of the portal that might not be immediately obvious as to how it works is the forgotten password link. So if we're trying to sign into the portal as a user, we've forgotten our password, we've got a handy button there that I can click on and say, forgot your password. So I can go ahead and put in my um, email address and go ahead and click send. Now, unfortunately, from a user perspective, that's not very helpful. I've gone and I've, I've gotten a very uh, nondescript error. So we've we've got an error and the user's going to look at that and not know what to do next and not be able to move past it. So let's look at why we get that error and how to go ahead and fix it. So if I go into um, D365 and let's actually go to that user record. So we can see just by looking at it, we've got the email address. That's the one that I've put in. Um, one thing to notice, though, is that the owner of a um, record that is registered via the portal is going to be the system user. Now, that system user doesn't actually have the ability to be able to have emails sent out from it. Um, so we're going to have to have a look at the process that's trying to send that email and try and resolve it. Now, you could put in a rule every time a contact registers via the portal and change the owner at that point. Um, but let's just go ahead and look at the process first of all so we can see what it's trying to do. So if I go into sales and then settings and we'll go to the processes and let's look at we've got the send password reset to contact. So we can see that it's an action and it is an activated process. So let's go ahead and open that and I'm going to deactivate it. So once we've deactivated it, we're going to be able to have a look. We can see there's the process arguments. It's basically allowing the email that is trying to be sent um, to pull the URL that's needed so that when they get the email, it's got your specific portals URL included in that. So we'll actually take them to the correct place. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see that it's trying to send an email whenever someone actually triggers that process to say that they've forgotten their password. So if I um, open up the email, here's the problem. We can see that the from is set to the owner of the contact. So again, the owner of a contact that registers via the portal is going to be set as the system user. So I'm going to change that and I've actually got a queue. So do not um, reply. So that's actually the queue that I want to send the email to. You can then come in here and you could modify this. So if you wanted to paste in, um, an image, you wanted to change the verbiage of this and, and, and everything, you could. You just don't want to be editing this area or this area. Otherwise, that will cause it to break um, potentially and you don't want to do that. So we've just changed the from. I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. And we're going to go ahead and activate that again. So we'll just complete that. So we've activated the process. So let me go ahead and close that. So I'll go back to the portal. Um, we've got the, the email address still in there. Let's go ahead and try that again. Go ahead and click send. Perfect. So now it's actually telling them to check their email to go ahead and reset the password. So immediately by changing um, that from email address and we're saying that that's going from either a specific user um, or that is going from a queue. Again, alternatively, if you had a process that changes the owner of the contact immediately once someone's registered or at some point in the life cycle with that contact record, then you wouldn't need to change um, the, uh, the process, but just keep that in mind. Um, if I now go back to my contact, and from the contact, if we look, to, look in the activities area, we can see there, there's the password, the do not reply, um, sent from to Gemma May. If I go ahead and open that, here we can see there's the link to reset the password. If I click on it, I can now add in what I want my new password to be as the user. So just something to keep in mind of um, that if that's not something that you've ever tested as part of the, the um, portal setup that you've done, you might just want to go ahead and check that and either make sure you've got a process to change the user of the contact or just go ahead and edit that, um, that process to send that email out to the contact so that it's not trying to be sent from the owner of the contact who could potentially be the system user.